Hey, this is Kevin with Imagination Hobbies again. Coming at you with a little bit of a card showcase. So uh, I try to collect one of each version of Sword and Feast and Famine that they've come out with. Obviously, there's some gaps in my collection here. Um, you know, there's a lot of regular ones that have come out now. Um, regular foils in different sets. Um, so I probably need to catch up on that. But I, I, I don't know. I just wanted to buy the uh, the harder to get ones first. Because those go up in value the most. Uh, kind of rapidly. So... Just wanted to make sure I grab those first. I'm going to go ahead and go through uh, this card. Um, show you what I like about it. Why I think it's like the best casual commander card in commander. And why I try to put it in every one of my decks. Um, anywhere where I can where I can take advantage of the untapping all lands um, thing pretty quickly. So we'll just start it off. I'll just scoot these back. I'll just knock these over real quick. And uh, let's see if three will just fit right here. Yeah, sure. That works. Yeah, that works. Yeah. We'll just throw them over here. And we'll just focus on a couple at a time. So we got this one. This one's one of my favorite cards in general. This sort of Feast and Famine. With that old border art on it. In foil. It's a classic card. Um, I definitely scored this a little earlier on. So it's worth a bit more now. Um, if I recall right, seeing it on eBay, it's about 150 So there's that. This is uh, my recent edition. It's the modern collector version extended art version with new art i think that's pretty sick i really do like the look of this i got this for 110 um this one i think i got for 100 actually i think this is 200 on ebay i think i got it for 100 or 150 i got this one for 110 the masterpiece There you go. Sort of Feast and Famine Masterpiece. Really like this card. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Really like this card. That sword is really cool looking. So, this one, I think, is it 250 I believe I got it at... 150 or 180 can't recall exactly what i paid for it but i know i made some money off it if i were to sell it but i, I don't i just use it um here's the other two just that set symbol so i think they've reprinted this in a few sets so I need to go back and get the one or two other sets that they've done these two in and get a non-foil and a foil of them. I mean, these are expensive too. I mean, these are like 100 bucks or more than foil. So it's not really easy to just scoop these up. But maybe one day. I just wanted to focus on getting the variety. Um, because they are so expensive and I have so many decks... I do. I did have a couple proxies made, uh, just a different kind of style version. This is a proxy of a Sword and Feast and Famine. It fits uh, good in my non-green deck. It doesn't have like a green vibe to it. And then I got a proxy made of an extended art masterpiece looking version. Done. So yeah, so those are my swords. Uh, if you guys like Sword of Feast and Famine, or you guys have any Sword of Feast and Famines, um, you know, leave it in the comments. Let me know why you like it. I think it's an amazing card. The fact that it gives you pro-black, pro-green, which are, in my opinion, 
one of the two best colors to have protection from. Um, and the reason why is you have removal in black, tons of removal in black. And a lot of players play black and green. And a lot of players play black and green creatures. So I don't think I've ever really had this out and not just been able to make sure my creature is basically unblocked against somebody. Also, when it deals combat damage to a player, they have to discard a card, which is huge. Uh, card advantage is a big deal in Commander. So, that's a pretty big deal. <clears throat> so, the fact that it untaps all your lands is extremely good. Um, you know, just being able to play multiple spells a turn off that, uh, or play like card draw spells, or leave mana open to defend yourself with something... It's just really strong, so that's probably why it's like my favorite card. I also really like equipment. I think it's pretty neat. Um, these cases are getting pretty old. Probably change them out. You can see they have some discoloration on them and stuff. But I got a new pack of sleeves right here. I'm gonna change all these out. But let me go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you guys have any pet cards or you have any video links to your pet cards. Uh, I'd like to check it out or your collections. That would be cool to check out. Um, I'm always down to look at some magic cards. But this is Kevin with Imagination Hobby signing off. Have a good day.